Well, the homes of one October gunman, Stephen Paddock, are for sale. Now, while the profits will go to victims' families, the properties will first need interested buyers. Now, one home is in Reno, the second is in Mesquite. 8 News Now reporter Brittany Edney breaks down what you need to know about this sensitive sale. Brittany? Chrissy, and tonight we looked into whether or not these homes are receiving any interest and in how the Paddock name could impact the sales. The two homes of Stephen Paddock may soon have new owners. However, the stigma of the former title holder could impact the sales. Zar Zangane, broker and owner of Lux Estates and Lifestyle, says prospective buyers may overlook Paddock's ties. Since the tragedy never happened at the home, it may not cause a lot of difference in the value of the property, but it will always be linked to him and it may attract buyers for that reason. On Zillow, the home in Reno has been viewed nearly a thousand times and saved by two dozen people. The Mesquite listing has about 2,000 views with around three dozen saves. Each home is represented by a different realtor. A property that's high profile, especially in a negative case like this one, sometimes could be challenging to sell because people will try to avoid the home. On the other hand, a lot of times people will think they're going to get a better deal because people are going to avoid that property, so they'll come in with more offers. Paddock's home in Mesquite is on market for $449,000 per Zillow. The listing says the exterior was painted just last month, but makes no mention of Paddock. So in the state of Nevada, you have to disclose if it's a trustee sale, if it's a probate sale, an estate sale, or a traditional sale, but you don't have to disclose any tragedy associated with the house unless it was something that was caused by the home. While the listing for the Reno property acknowledges the home belonged to Paddock and all net proceeds from the sale go to the victim's families. Also stating it's an estate sale and subject to court approval. The 1,400 square foot home is on the market for 399,000. Uh, I don't think the stigma of these homes are going to prevent them from selling. The home will sell. It's either going to sell slightly below market to somebody who's looking for a deal or it's going to sell to somebody who wants the home because they think of a future value. I reached out to the listing agents for the two homes, and while I didn't hear back from the broker on the Mesquite home, the Reno home broker told me that he didn't want to comment on the property out of respect for the victims. Christian? Thank you, Brandon.